There we go. Okay, so I get the question a lot about how do I, what do I do next? Like after we pour, what do I do next? So, um, basically what I'm going to do is, I hope it's not too loud. Uh, we're just going to demold this. And this mold, the frame in the bottom is just MDF cut in strips. Um, and then there's a layer of tuck tape um, between wherever the resin's going to touch and the frame in the bottom. Okay. So basically I go in with the rubber mallet. And the reason that I use this is so that way I don't damage the table. Um, there are a few things that I like to use and it's really simple stuff like it's this to get underneath and a screwdriver to prop it up and then I use, uh, these right here shims to get under. I'll use a paint stick. Like it doesn't really matter. So I just hope that it's not too, too loud for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, so everybody thinks that um you just are done after this and that is not the case at all like you are not done <laughs> now we gotta flatten it out hold on let's start my other camera for the youtube to make the actual video um so now we gotta flatten it out but what we're gonna do is i just use this to go in between uh the frame and the resin and as long as you've got a coating you don't have to use tuck tape you can use like shipping tape or something like that and it's way cheaper as this runs about $15 14 to 15 dollars a roll and then you can get like I think it's six or eight uh, shipping tape like a pack of them for the same amount of money so you don't have to use that So you see, everything comes off like really, really easy as long as you, um, as long as you put that, I like to break the seam of the, everything comes off really easy as long as you've got that liner with the tape, because resin does not stick to that tape. I am going to be releasing a video, um, probably talking to myself right now but I am going to be releasing a video about the whole with the whole build of this on there so once I get that in I get this on there and then I'll just take what I got on hand you don't got to get a bunch of fancy 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 Seriously, you don't. Like, you see it all the time. People think they need the, all this crazy stuff to do this work, and you don't. You really, really don't. So I'm just going to work my way around the table. But it works better if you break this mold, right? Or break this um, seal. There's going to be a seal of caulk if you did it right. And once you break that, you're golden. Ooh, I'm glad we didn't spring a leak right there because that was going underneath. <laughs> So just work your way around, like, <laughs> I did that on the last table.
I'm going to go to the other side. What's going on, y'all? Oh, this thing is going to be freaking amazing. So, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to get some other benches built in here. And I had people asking, um, like, for plans for the benches that I pour on, like the actual benches. And really it doesn't matter. Like, doesn't have to be uh, perfect, like work benches and stuff. I mean, it's nice to have them, but honestly, two of my work benches are ping pong tables. They are so flat and it's um, particle board. So you don't gotta worry about, um, they're just really, really flat. Like seriously. They're, So, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, like seriously, ping pong tables, and I'll show them to you, like, they didn't believe me until I showed them the underside of it. Here it is. Once you hear that pop, then you know that it's there, getting there. Almost there. So after we take it out of the mold, what we're gonna do, dude, I had like seven flies land in this table. <laughs> Get used to that one too. Cause the boys had the doors open. <laughs> like as soon as I pour, there's a fly in there. And then I went and took it out and then there's another fly. I mean, thank God they didn't, I didn't let them stay in there, but still, <laughs> that's gross. But it's life, especially when you work with resin. I've got like three video edits that are done. I just got to do the tags and the product links for them and they'll be out hopefully tonight. I haven't really had time to work on my YouTube stuff, unfortunately. That's the pop we're looking for. So this turned out really, really nice. I did have some problems with the blocks. Like um, some of the blocks actually just would not stop releasing air. But what I did was I took a drill, like took my drill, and then you drill the air holes, like let it um, cure. And then you drill the air holes. And then you just, I poured another layer over it, super, super thin. And you cannot even tell. Let me show you. <laughs> so here was one. Like there was just some bubbles that just would not stop. Like these, um, the letters, they just, it wouldn't stop. Like they just kept coming and coming and coming. But um, all you do is just take your drill and a drill bit, drill down the air hole and then do another layer or fill it with epoxy and you would never ever know like the only way they'll ever know is if i said said something <laughs> like i just did but then they wouldn't be able to even know where it was at 
<sighs> so um, I recorded it so I can make a quick video on actually showing the process of it. Hey, if what would work? The blocks, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Cause yeah, man, like I tried to do a seal over them. Like um, when I poured the first layer, sorry. When I poured the first layer, I tried to do a, like a, kind of like just push the epoxy over the blocks because I noticed that they were bubbling a lot, but um, I just missed some of them and like really, they were floating, like it was so bad. <laughs> um, I had three of them that were floating. I'll put it in the video, in the edit, just to show that like shit don't always go right. Like it doesn't always go your way. So, <laughs> but this turned out really, really, really nice. And somebody asked me, how do I move these if I'm seven months pregnant? So with a dolly or my baby daddy. <laughs> Uh, when he gets home from work, I'll have him take the big ones, like that amethyst table. I'll have him take those into the other shop for me. So here it goes. That turned out really, really nice. I like it. I can't see the messages no more. There it goes. The ping pong table? Hell yes! Yo, yes, look, um, this one, this bench, and that bench is a ping pong table. Hey, see? Oh, shit, you can't see that one. Hold on. There, you see the line? <laughs> it's a ping pong table. Not kidding. But they're flat, and it's particle board, so, like, you can get away with it. It is okay. Like, you don't have to buy, like, a bunch of crazy stuff. And this one... Um, because I pour big, um, tables on here, I went with this top because this stays cold and it allows the epoxy to cure slower because it stays cold. Like this is really, really cold. Um, so we went with this steel top, but it's so thin. Like I think it cost me like maybe a hundred bucks. So it's totally worth it. But, um. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm taking, because this used to be my workshop. I can't see that. I'm sorry. The message went away. Uh, this used to be my workshop where I, like, I didn't have the other shop. So I still store my wood in here, but, um, and my resin, like, oh, my freaking resin is under there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take th this bench, and this was my miter station and stuff over here where my airbrushing stuff is so these two are gonna come out like this and this and then this I'm gonna build two more of these and I'm gonna put them on this wall sticking out because I'm getting a lot of big bigger orders so I want to be able to do them all at once and I've got like four big tables that I have to finish and I can't do it like this because I've got these small ones and this one so also, uh, I've got some reusable molds, and I'm about to try them out for the first time. This is a 24 by 48. I think I paid, uh, I know they be, they're a little expensive, but when you think about it, so is tuck tape. <laughs> like, so is tuck tape, and you don't have to use tuck tape no more. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing with this one. Um... But yeah, it would like, so that is what, that's how you demold. Like people were asking me like, how do you take it out of the frame? And it's not hard. Like I think sometimes people overthink things. Like you just take it out. That's all you do. You just take it out. So I'm going to struggle with getting this over there and not hurting my baby bump. And I will get my YouTube videos out uh, today. Okay guys. So, be easy.